You think say it's Sabi Nigeria music? Old school or new school? Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Nigeria music can't win money. Hello guys, welcome to Custom Reaction! Yet again, thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, of course, telling your friends about what we do right at Gusto TV. Big Lala is right here. Mm-hmm. at all. Big Lala Kubana. Hey, hey, hey. Now hear that. Big Lala Kubana. That is the new name right now. Guys, it's, it's name. get with the flow. I'm just showing you Kubana. <laughs> Ubi Kubana, Shei Kubana, Ike Kubana. I tell you, one One <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for liking and sharing. Before we continue with this video, please call your friends to come and like, subscribe, share. We love your comments as well. Yes, we look forward to every one of them. Please put everything down below. Even though at times we don't respond to them, but please know that we see every one of your each of your comments. We see every one of you, and we love every one of you. Guys, we love you actually. Mm -hmm. Same way we love Afrobeat, and same way we love the guys pioneering the Afrobeat movement at the moment. Um, David O, Whiskey, Bonner Boy, these three guys mm. are um, I mean, we can't even talk about them enough about you know, in terms of their contribution mm. to the Afrobeats, you know, game and everything in the past years. Now, when Afrobeats to the world started, one of the things that we look forward to is to be you know, to get the term Afrobeat to the world justified, mm -hmm. which means really getting it out there to the world. Yeah. Whiskey, as an artist, winning the Grammys at the time was one major, major, you know, major thing for him. Bonaboy as well, also winning the Grammys was a major, major one. And, you know, after then, we kind of felt like, okay, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyways, moving on. For Whiskey and for Burner Boy, um, do you think that Burner, as an artist, the BT Awards as well for Burner Boy was a major one? Whiskey's essence is also one major one, you know, that we felt, oh, this thing is really, really big right now. Fall by Davido as well. Everyone loving it. Now, Afrobeat yeah. as a general, Lala. Do you think it was way overdue or way too soon in terms of the Afrobeat to the world thing? What's happening right now to Afrobeat? Is it way overdue or is it too premature? Well, I don't think it's premature. I think it came just right at the right time. Okay. Um, it's been a long journey for the term Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. It's been a long while from the days of the branch. The branch. So we make clearly. Mm -hmm. And that's, twist. that's when... I mean, there was this talk about Afro beats to the world, and there was uh, P Square, a whole lot of them around mm -hmm. that era who were doing sounds that resonated with uh, with Africans, Absolutely. with Nigerians, yeah. West Africa. So Ghanaians also took the baton one time yeah. with their pom pom sound, yeah. and, and they did their thing. So it's it's been a good journey, it's been a uh, ten years, a, yeah. go, a good ten or more than ten years. <laughs> striving and pushing yes and striving and pushing mm -hmm. to be for for worldwide acceptance and every one of these artists from the era of p square to the era of burner boy all played their part they all contributed into their little little quota into making it happen so i think it's just right at the right moment is there at the right moment that Afrobeats is is winning categories mm. uh, i don't know what we would term Angelikijo's genre of music is, <laughs> whether she's an Afro beat artist or I don't know the term it as. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because Ed, even Bona Sample and Enclo yeah, had exactly. similar beats and things exactly. like that. So exactly. is it that is it because they've not termed the Afro beat then, then but yeah. the kind of sound that came out from her? Afrobeat, yeah. she, she also won yeah. the Grammy. So yeah. I think it's just it's a new wave of talent, new wave of sound. Mm -hmm. It's just about right for the time. Okay, and of course, Essence is also doing his thing, you yeah. know, at the moment, you know, all over the world. But is Essence really Afrobeat? 
Ah, uh, well, essence are for beats. Because it's from the alphabet. It's artists. essence of alphabet. Well, I think that discussion will come very soon when we now start. I mean, everybody's already fighting their fights now mm. and saying, oh, I'm not an Afrobeat artist. Afro fusion. I'm an Afro fusion. Mm. Afro so. Afro so. Yeah. Afro this, Afro, Afro that. Afro up and down. Afro, urban Afro. I mean, Afro urban. Afro left and right. <laughs> up and down Afro. <laughs> anyway. Afro music classified. <laughs> Uh, essence beat. as no, they classify essence as R and B. By the way, mm. yeah. Anyway, Afro beat R and B. Afro Afro R and B. Afro R and B. Anyways, whiskey and essence, you know, and their teams doing their thing with essence, of course. Who draw this thing? I don't even see this thing for the first time. I bet who draw these eyebrows for temps? You know, good. You be like you there. You know, you get there for Nollywood. <laughs> I bet who draw. Them? <laughs> I'm just noticing it for the first time. It just I don't know who draw it. No <laughs> worry. Guys, if they would draw Tim's eyebrow on top, I don't know, but I think this is lovely. You, I don't, think, you know no fashion. I think it is lovely. You know no makeup. You know and no she's makeup. a very beautiful lady. Yes, yeah, Now is. looking at you know the song Essence and everything. Mm-hmm. Lala, Essence just got, you know, the Billboard certification, yeah. you know, number 82 and everything on Billboard. That is a major record first Nigerian song. Mm-hmm. Now looking at Nigeria, Afrobeat, a song or two, yeah, a song, let's say a song, yeah. winning a Grammy. That's an album, Bonner Boy. Yeah. Whiskey also won a Grammy. Mm-hmm. Whiskey now on Billboard. Mm-hmm. These two major, you know, uh, parts, even the BET, were things that we felt were the pinnacle of Afrobeat to the world. Yeah. Now that all of this thing has happened, what do you think is the next level? What exactly does Afrobeat have, you know? To achieve again after all of this i mean we've achieved grammys yeah we've achieved BET, yeah we've achieved billboard yeah so what exactly is next level for Afrobeat? well i think there's quite a lot left that we need to we've not cracked that we've not cracked we've cracked top 100 are we mm. as a so uh, as nice as Afrobeat artists with no foreign influence and everything yeah but we need to dominate it we've only just cracked it we've not dominated okay and we've only hit what number 82. Yeah. So we need another Afrobeat song to dominate the world. The biggest market, be on top of the biggest market. I'm not, okay, I'm not like, I'm not so sure. I am sure there is a K-pop record by BTS yeah. that has been topping, Butter. that has been on dominating this billboard 100. 39 weeks or something. A lot, a lot of time. And BTS are a huge group in. Very huge. And by the way, the only reason I don't regard that new Grammy category for everyone who's always saying we, it's because of BTS, because they fall into <laughs> that category. That <laughs> they fall into that category. So I can't get my hopes up for that category. Mm. I don't even know what's going on. They don't even spell out the requirements. Maybe when you get there. But if there's a BTS in that category and there's Whiskey in that category, there's no way Whiskey is winning. I'm not, I'm not saying I did not say it, but mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know. But there are a lot of other things that we can do. For example, the Grammys, right? I would want for Afro Beats to have its own category in the Grammys. Okay. I don't want Afro Beats competing with guys from, uh, what's it called? Southern Mali. Mm-hmm. I'd be Southern Algeria. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tinari Tunisia went. and the rest of I them. don't want Afro Beats competing with an Indian person with a different sort of music. That's not competition. Let Afro Beats artists compete against each other. Each other, yeah. Nominate them in the same category. So mm-hmm. we still need to crack that. Grammy needs to give Afro Beats or anything African its own category. Mm-hmm. Let African music, let them do their. Whether you don't want to call it Afro Beats, so just give them a category. The same way BET has used to have Best International Africa. Mm-hmm. We need to do that with the Grammys. If we've done that, then we've unlocked a new level. Yeah. We need to consistently dominate the biggest music market in the Billboard. Okay. We've not done that. We've so only just Grammy, cracked it. The Grammy, uh, you know, category yeah. next level for Afrobeat. Yeah. Um, the uh, Billboard. Yeah. You know, getting other songs onto the Billboard chart and even topping can in and can an Afrobeat song ever top the US Billboard? I think chart. if it, if it does, or if we enter top ten, then we can now say yes, Afrobeat indeed to, to the, the world. world. <laughs> and after we've done all that. The next thing for us to do is now decentralization. I'm talking like a politician, not a politician now. Mm. Decentralization of all the different genres of music under Afrobeats. Because the fight is already people, you've seen the small talks from different corners. Mm. I'm not an Afrobeat artist, out I'm an Afro two, soul. Out of these two, two yeah. major ones that you mentioned, the Billboard thing yeah. and also the Grammy, you know, uh, Afro, which do you think is much more achievable in the nearest future? 
Well, I think the Grammys, uh, I think the one can lead to the other. Um, if a lot more songs get on the yeah, billboard yeah. and they dominate, and we're seeing several Nigerian artists going on there, right? Billboard, I mean, the Grammys can be, uh, what's it called? They can be open to creating a separate, because whether you like it or not, Grammy has a reggae or is it reggae category? Yeah. They have a Latino yeah. category for yeah. different. So why can't they have an African music category and not give us backstage, but give us in the main stage and things like that? Mm. And it will feature the best of the best out of Africa. Exactly. So this can lead to that. Also, if Grammy does it first, it can also lead to more eyes on the artists who are there getting and on the board, getting on, on this. And I think each of them can work. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let's have your thoughts on that one. What exactly do you think is next? For Afrobeat, what's the next level for Afrobeat? We've done the Grammys, we've done the Billboard, we've done you know uh, US Airplay on radio, we've done quite a whole lot of the BET Awards and all of that, MTV European Music Awards, Afrobeat to the world is already gaining momentum. But what exactly is the next level for Afrobeat? Big Lala thinks, oh, we need to get more Afrobeat artists on the Billboard chat. One, we also need to create a category. You know, uh, we need to demand or maybe let Grammys, you know, the Recording Academy do like a category for you know afrobeat and that way we can truly say afrobeat you know has truly truly arrived you know for the world to the world by the world and anything democracy <laughs> anyways guys let's have your thoughts on that one what is the next level what is the next high level for afrobeat after the whiskey billboard number 82 entry on the billboard hot 100 guys let's have your thoughts put everything down below we'll see you on the next one peace